elephant garlic is a member of the leek family. As you can see, it grows a very large bulb containing five or six cloves. Containing both garlic and onion flavors, elephant garlic has many culinary uses. Growing elephant garlic in the home garden is fairly easy to do. Plants may be grown from bulbils, single clove bulbs, or from cloves found in full-size bulbs. Bulbils like these grow on the bulb of garlic. You can plant these and at the end of the first year you will have a one clove bulb of garlic. Planting the bulbul will grow into a single clove bulb of garlic like this. If you plant this, then the following year you will harvest a full head of garlic with five or six cloves. This full head of garlic contains five or six cloves. We will use those cloves in planting our next crop. In well composted garden soil, you will be planting a single clove of garlic like this, about four inches deep. Be sure that you put the point of the garlic facing up. Plant successive cloves about six inches apart. After a few weeks, the cloves will sprout like this. These are the sprouts from bulbils. Elephant garlic planted from a clove will look like this after a few months. In the spring, scapes like this will appear. These are the flowers of the elephant garlic. To increase the bulb size, you can break these off and put them into salads or other dishes. When the leaves begin to turn yellow and brown, it's a sign that it's time to harvest your garlic. We do this by loosening the soil around the base of the garlic, being careful not to damage the bulb. Once the soil is loosened, we can pull up the garlic by the stalk, gently pulling up and clearing away the soil as we go. See how easily the well-composted garden soil comes off of the roots. Now it's time to cure the elephant garlic. To cure and dry elephant garlic, I put it in a shady, cool spot. After a few weeks, you can see the garlic has begun to dry out. We can trim off the dry roots. And we can cut the stalk off about three or four inches above the bulb. Next, I'm going to remove the bulbils like this. You can see these around the base of the bulb. Here's how the bulbils form in little clusters. Bulbils left behind in the ground when you harvest will grow into small garlic plants the following year. Trim off any excess of roots, clean up the head of garlic, and then put it into a paper bag where you can store it in a cool, dry place until it's needed. That's how to grow elephant garlic. I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for joining me. Music by Kevin McLeod.